First stop takes us down to a live pick to Wrightsville Beach. The breakers are coming on and waves have been up to actually just above people's heads with those rip currents significant. Here's some people wading their way into the water, but don't go too far out. It's only for the most experienced and strong swimmers to be out there through this weekend, actually into next week as well with Bertha well offshore, but bringing those significant swells and subsequent rip currents. Chief Meteorologist George Elliott with your first alert forecast. First alert digital Doppler radar. That's our first stop, and that is going to be showing us what's coming our way. It's going to be a big change from where we've been, and there's some showery weather to our west. Warming to just cloudy skies. You might find a little sprinkle around the area now, but this rainfall to the west is moving on toward the east, and there's a little downpour or two associated with some of that. Not a lot. The heaviest now around the Clarkton area and south from there, moving on east at around 20, 25 miles an hour or so. A few more showers, a little bit lighter. Northern Bladen County, north from there. If we twist around and put this into three-dimensional uh, perspective, we see a little bit of buildup to those showers, indicating maybe a downpour, maybe a quick flash of lightning. But that would be about it. Really not much ele electrical power to these storms. It's really just going to be a showery night. And then tomorrow will be more like a just cloudy, dank, kind of drizzle, maybe a little patchy rain here and there. Big change. 60s now in the Fayetteville area down toward Lumberton. 77 still in Wilmington after that. 83 today. Series of 80s. Goodbye, Charlie. That's going to be a thing of the, thing of the past for several days. Here's your precipitation flowing on steadily from west to east along some energy in the upper atmosphere. A cold front moving across the area. Low pressure at the surface. Those things come together and it brings us the rainfall. And it will bring us cooler temperatures with thick clouds around the area tomorrow. It stays cooler than average Sunday, but much drier on Sunday as well. It's autumn time. It should be cooler. And take a look at some pictures we had a couple days ago. This is the way it looked up at Blowing Rock. Beautiful picture. Once again, it might have been warm, but it's beautiful looking. Now it's going to cool down and still be beautiful looking. That's the time of year it is. I love this time of year. Tomorrow, your first alert Saturday outlook. Cloudy in the morning, some patchy rain around the area. And then that rain does uh, taper down into maybe a little drizzle, maybe little light patches of rain here and there. And look at the numbers hovering around 60-ish much of the day with a north wind at 8 to 18 miles an hour. Now, tomorrow night, things clear off. So when you wake up Sunday, it is going to be a sunny one, but a little cooler than average. There's the precipitation showing up in the greens and some of those yellows indicating some of those heavier downpours. Cold front down to the south, and that's where it stays. That's moving farther down to the south. Tomorrow, a lot of clouds, a little drizzly kind of condition there, kind of blustery, actually. And then the clouds clear out by Sunday night, Monday night, Let's make that Saturday night, one thing at a time, right? I'm jumping right through the weekend. And into Sunday, we bring back the sunshine. Oh, by the way, Omar is still out there. Now, briefly, a hurricane again. What's it mean to us? Nothing. Your first alert forecast here. Cloudy tonight, some showery weather, mid to upper 50s. North wind at 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tomorrow, cloudy, a lot different than today. Some patchy light rain and drizzle possible here and there. North wind eventually brings in drier air, but not right away. Low 60s for highs on your Saturday. Goodbye to 80s, as I mentioned. Small craft advisory will be hoisted tomorrow with the north 15 to 25 knot wind, 2 to 4 foot seas. First of their planning forecast. It's going to be a lot cooler tomorrow. We were near record highs a couple days ago. Tomorrow, low 60s, mid-60s on Sunday. Normal highs are in the uh, mid-70s, so cooler than average. And some 40s at night. So that's a big change, but definitely a dry air mess coming in fr uh, Sunday through Friday next week. Looks pretty dry. Highs in that 70-ish category, so low 70s and lows 50s to, uh, we'll say around 50, upper 40s. Joins us now live with the lip-smacking rundown. George? <laughs> All weekend long, too. Noon until 11 o'clock, so 11 o'clock tonight. Noon until 11 tomorrow. Noon until 8 on Sunday, live music from a Greek band, authentic Greek beer, Greek wine, Greek food galore. Of course, we've got the Eros, and we've got all kinds of Greek potatoes and meats. We even have vegetarian stuff for you. It's $3 to get in, but gets you raffle tickets to win electronics, 42-inch TV, and other stuff like that. But we've chosen the dessert tray right now, and you've got all kinds of special desserts that everyone talks about. Baklava is the one that's well known, but what else do you got here for tonight, and tomorrow, and Sunday? <laughs> You want me to answer from all this? Yeah, yeah give, give us a couple of hints. Well, this delicious thing is once a year, 
for you. It's all created, but good mamas, Greek mamas. Yeah, the mamas. The mamas <laughs> for Greek gods. For the Greek gods. I hear, I hear the coffee cake is something special. The first one is the coffee cake, very secret recipe. The second one is... Well, you don't have to go one by one, but what, well, let's go around here. I, 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 like the, I like the look of this one here. What you got here? What's this one? This is for Lices. Folice, which is cousin of baklava, in the thing of baklava. And here's the almond. This is the almond cookie, I know. What about what you got here? This is the Athenian, Athenian co cake. The coconut. Coconut. Ah, here's the traditional and baklava. This is the king of pastries. The, the king of pastries, baklava. This is the center of the universe. Oh, absolutely created. <laughs> Thank you very much. Of course, the desserts, the meals I mentioned all weekend long until 11 tonight, 11 tomorrow, and 8 o'clock Sunday. Craig will update you on the weather. It's looking pretty decent. So come on down Greek Fest South, College Road. Hang in there. Voted Best Weathercast by the Associated Press and Best Weathercaster by the News Directors Association. Your first alert weather from Chief Meteorologist George Elliott. Clear skies, no precipitation out there whatsoever. And under the sunny skies today, we hit pretty close to average, 89, normal tie is 90. Tomorrow, about the same, a little warmer farther inland. And temperature-wise across the area, we're looking at 83 right now. East-southeast breezes on the hour, so pretty pleasant. Low humidity and temperatures tonight will drop into the 60s with those low humidities. A little farther northbound we go, E-Town, Elizabethtown, 88. Same in the Clinton area on the hour, and tomorrow you'll be in the low 90s. It's 90 in Clinton right now, so it's going to be a warm one tomorrow. Plenty of 80s across the map right now. How about tomorrow? Plenty of sunshine for your Sunday. Light north through east winds, however, rip currents significant along the beaches, especially east facing. Rapid warm up through the 80s through the day, topping out right about that 90 ish mark. Small area of low pressure offshore, common with these showers and storms which kick up offshore, will be warm ahead of this. That's the cold front moving eastbound. And as it gets closer to the area, showers and thunder showers. When? Well, maybe in the mountains late tomorrow, but for us, we'll wait till Monday with this frontal system. Not a whole bunch of rain with that, but scattered showers and thunder showers before drier air moves on in behind that by your Tuesday. Here's your clear skies now. There are a few of those thunder storms offshore in that warm tropical or Gulf Stream kind of water. Here's the next system way up to the north coming in from the west. And there is Bertha, barely moving. It's a minimal hurricane now, but it's definitely spreading our rip currents our way as of 5 o'clock, 29.9 north, 62.6 west, barely moving. Barely at all, but it will drift on northward, and it was it's way east of us, let's face it. The only effects here, and they're significant along the beach, rip currents and swells, and that will continue tomorrow into early next week, and taper down as this storm gets a little farther away and weakens, but it's a slow process to bring down those waves. Here you go, tonight then, clear skies, boy, 60s the overnight low. Can't beat that, right? Very pleasant conditions for July. I'll take it tomorrow and back to the uh, normal 90-ish or just above in the interior communities, light north through east breezes. Along the coast, now farther offshore, north wind becoming northeast to east, two to four foot seas. And high rip current risk for most beaches, especially east and southeast facing beaches. Scattered showers and thunderstorms for Monday along that cold front. Other than that, it looks pretty dry and temperatures we can deal with. This time of year, with humidity is reasonable, it does get more humid tomorrow, tomorrow night, and Monday ahead of the front. By next weekend, maybe another spot storm or two. But no heat waves, no cold waves, and no hurricanes, at least on our doorstep. There's one far away. Just something close, close enough to have us thinking about it. Very dangerous. Really, just stay out of the water. Leave it to the lifeguards that then play around in there. They've already rescued a bunch. Stay out. All right. Thank you, George.